I guess last but not least, ABX. Next machine. So new ABX, really good machine. People love the ABX. Big, strong, powerful machine. Um, so 80 mil through spindle on this one, 65 mil through spindle, which is an upgrade on the sub spindle. Absolutely. So we're talking really big, heavy cutting. Yes. We're talking heavy material, difficult to cut materials. Yes. Yep. When you've got big, just out of interest, you've got big diameters here. Sometimes it's hard to put a long bar feeder on. I guess you need to make keep keep a, a short bar feeder for the weight of the bar. We still put 80 mil at three uh, three meter lengths on it. Really? You know, the, 80 yeah. mils. That's a lot of weight moving around. It's going to be yeah. pretty straight, I yeah. guess. But the IM could bar feeds will will cope with it. So. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you could automate a full three meter length. Yeah with a short remnant as well for that, for that three meter. That's a pretty productive way of yeah. doing it. One thing I find interesting about these machines in general, they look like they're built for production with all the parts catchers. Yep. Um, like you say, with three meter bar feeders available. Um, but how, how do you make it easy? You, you mentioned these are quite good for jobbing shops as well, for, it, for low volume. Yeah, so you know these are just as easy to set as a a, a normal, you know, if you switch off two turrets, you've got one, one turret up there, so you use it as a one turret machine. Um, but then, if a job comes in and you need to put a high volume part on there, you, you can. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it's a mixture of machines, you know? Brilliant, because that's the biggest thing is setup times when you're, when yeah. you're making jobbing here and there. What do you recommend customers when, if they look at a machine like this that looks quite daunting, this has got three turrets going yeah. on, you can do superimposed machining, saving one turret on the other machines, the B&E for example. How would you suggest people start to look at uh, maybe a machine from Citizen and start to explore this new technology? Just just come in and you know we can demonstrate it and show how easy it is to, to actually use. This is only a FANUC control, so this behaves in the same way as any other FANUC machine. The same with the B&E. The B&E, the tool setting is the same way as the FANUC would be. If people know it already, you're going to jump on it and completely so understand if you, it. If you can use and run a, lathe, a billet loaded lathe with one turret, Yep. Add, a sec add a second spindle, yep. add a second turret, maybe a third turret. You program it in the exact same way, you should have different yeah. channels. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly like that. Exactly like that. Perfect. Thank you so much.